do you read me? Ah, oh, hello, and welcome to the Ed Gold and Gee Show with me, Ed. And me, Gold. And we've come to Liverpool today to interview one of our favourite bands, The Rock Sensations, The Wombats, who are currently working on their second album in their practice room. Let's go and see how their boys are getting on with album number two. We say Lamb of God, you know, you, it should be Ritalin Lamb of God, Ritalin Lamb of God. And don't forget that the Ritalin shout in um, the second, like every second time is uh, five. Every second time, basically. Yes! It's like... I've got it! Well... We're led to believe that the Wombats do actually practice on this very floor. So, without further ado, gold, let's go. I got it. Try it again, try it again. Okay. <laughs> Matthew Edmund Murphy is the lead singer in the Wombats. Matthew Murphy was born in Liverpool. And before joining the Wombats, he played in several other bands, as well as wanting to be a fireman. But unfortunately, those dreams were scuppered when his legs were set on fire in a small fire in a bin. Todd hails from a place very east of the UK, in a little town called Norway, where he likes to fish with his family, and then eat those fish raw. Before the Wombats, Todd was studying to be a horticulturalist at the University of Stockholm, where he used to catch and name fish species. Daniel Haggis plays the drums in the Wombats. When not playing the drums, one of his hobbies is eating raw shellfish and vomiting. Speaking of shellfish, do you have any octopus? Hmm? So, Wombats, before we start, would you consider yourselves to be more pop stars or rock stars? I don't really know, Ed. Um, don't never, never really think of it. So we're all in agreement then. Rock stars. Rock stars it is. Do you have celebrity girlfriends? <laughs> No, never, never no. had a celebrity girlfriend. And no. no, no. And more tellingly, have you ever slept with a celebrity? No. No. Well, what is the most rock and roll thing you've done? Um, Todd went fishing once, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. Fisher, Fisher man. man. I'm more of a curler myself. Curling. curling. Really? That's right, curling. It involves a lot of scrubbing, and I have lots of practice scrubbing Tracy's back after the hard day's work at Weatherspoons. She's my darling. Does she still have the beard? Which one? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and what is your favourite type of fishing? Yeah. Well, I was in this uh, national competition called the, the Wobble Fishing Competition, <laughs> and I actually did win it. And uh, well, now I'm like going to Vancouver to do like the world champion in the world yeah. fishing, so there you go. Mm. Oh, very interesting. Mm. Mm. Yeah, actually, yeah. I got this like really, really big trout, like 2.5 kilos. It's like a rock and roll yeah. trout, basically. That doesn't sound very rock and roll to me, Gold. You're going to take your rod on tour with us when we get back out there? Oh, yeah. yeah. I always bring, bring my rod. <laughs> it's like one of the essentials. My goldfish is more rock and roll than you guys. But anyway, the last time we saw you boys was at Reading and Leeds. But what have you been doing since then? <laughs> I guess we've, uh, yeah, had reality uh, smack in the face, just been kind of doing normal things really, like mm. cooking and... Cooking! <laughs> and um, showering and um, watching toast. DVDs. King Kong! 
What's the best film you've seen over the last like eighteen months? Yeah, um, the Hummus Diaries. All right. Oh, was that by Senor Hummus Face? Uh, Senor Hitch Hummus. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, Hummus by Hummus West. <laughs> yeah. 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 And there's such great really films as uh, hummus. Hitch, Golden yeah. Hummus, Hitch Hummus, North by North Hummus, and yeah. um, Dial M for Moroccan Hummus. Oh, yeah. And um, yeah, yeah, the things like Psycho Hummus Eater. Psycho Hummus Eater. Yeah. Yeah. Stuff like that. I got no, I don't know. Just well, we've obviously been busy um, working on our next uh, forthcoming long play rock and roll record um, and Rockin'. apart from that I guess we're uh, just that has been keeping us fairly busy though, that's been keeping us busy and when we're not doing that then we're just doing what any normal person would do kind of like fishing like just yeah. doing photo shoots for big Italian fashion yeah, like designers Vogue. and just looking beautiful all the time yeah. really so what do you say that you prefer doing gigs or not doing gigs no I think um, it's good to have a nice balance of doing gigs and, and not doing gigs because um, too much of anything can you know can be a bad I thing. I prefer gig days because we've got there's a gig on them yeah. as opposed to the non-gig days but when you're on it's tour generally you not a gig, gig days. Yeah, there's usually not a gig on the non-gig days. When you're on tour you prefer the non-gig days. So. Yeah I guess so. Yeah well if you're not on tour there generally aren't that many gigs are there so the non-gig days tend to outweigh the gig days. Don't yeah. They? Definitely. I would yeah. probably say that our general the overwhelming consensus was um, doing gigs yeah so as rock icons can we look forward to a dynamic new look from the boys i might, I might be a bit smarter for the second one i've kind, yeah. of, kind of seen a lot of pictures back of myself like just sweating in some dirty t-shirt that i've haven't washed for four days on tour so i might i might go a bit smarter but well, like i don't know if we've got any kind of, tie kind of thing no not suit and tie but i don't know i don't know a bit more pride in my appearance Oh yeah, I always thought you looked very smart, Matthew. Yeah. So, what can we expect from this new album? Yeah, Dan's often playing synth, drums, banjo and harmonica at the same time with a bit of BVs thrown yeah, in. Yeah. Out um, of my nose. So that's good, so I guess with the help of the octopus it's kind of a much um, richer, uh, fuller, thicker, creamier sound. Well, all we've ever wanted to do, I guess, is take the three piece to that kind of, just push it as far as we could go really, wasn't it? But not in like a dream theatre sense of it. No, no. Yeah, but Dream Theater. Not three piece. No, but I mean, we're not like pushing it. Up, you know, we don't want to sound like thirty thousand people, do we? Not thirty thousand. Although the operatic kind of style of Dream Theater could really work with your voice, I think. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Can we expect it this year? Oh. I think we're hoping to record it in um, in the summer. That yeah. would be nice. Um, and have it out as quickly yeah. after that as it can possibly be done. It's got um, to be out in 2010, otherwise Murph has... Uh, I've got a bit of a major forfeit to yeah. do. Um, I'm going to go up, get naked and climb to the top of the Liver Building and sing Everybody Hurts by R.E.M. The top of the Liver Building? <laughs> <laughs> so I personally am trying to sabotage the whole process as we much as possible. Yeah. Um, I can't wait to see you do that. Yeah, it's brilliant. <laughs> Anyway, uh, what's your favourite sport? Favourite sport? Mm. Why are you even thinking tricky, about this? Tricky question. Fishing, <laughs> obviously. Um, I'm quite a, quite an avid golfer for my sins. Yeah. I'm playing football tonight, but I don't know whether that's my favourite sport. I think um, I think I've got a favourite sport. I'm kind of a jack of all trades, master of none, really. <laughs> Never or really you're just, a, just a master one. of everything. Oh, just I'm Lord Splinter, yeah. <laughs> master Splinter. Um, master of the underworld. Yeah. Keeping the sewers in check. I remember seeing you guys a few times. I had a wacky stage show, is there? Are you thinking of changing around that in the future? No. Oh, it's too early to say, really, Ed, to be honest. I mean, obviously we're going to retain the energy and Merv's going to look smarter. Todd's going to replace his base with a fishing rod. Uh, I'm actually getting four extra limbs uh, attached to my body. And then, apart from that, we'll be It's going to be more spacey, though, I think. It's, it's I don't know, I, am, I imagine more... Spacey, uh, it's going to sound a bit bigger, You mean, like, spacey as in, like, alien space? No, like, no, no, um, split, what do I mean? Like, um... What do I mean? The like sound. lasery, like over the toppy. Lasers? Oh, laser. oh very interesting. Oh. Big, big Ethereal, not show. big production, but so something. Some bigger. Yeah. Lasers are good, yeah. Lasers, lasers and big stuff. Yeah.
Well, it's been our privilege to speak to you today, my man. Uh, anything else you'd like to say to the fans before we, we, we say goodbye? Do tell. Um, we'd just like to say um, goodbye and um, we'll see you all very shortly. And, uh, you know, sit tight and yeah. we'll be out with you. We're not dead. We're not dead. Not we dead. are still living. We're just uh, cooped up. <laughs> see you later. See you soon. See ya. Well, that's all we've got time for today on the Ed Golden Gee Show. But do join us again when we'll be interviewing a host of other Z listers, such as Tom Bass. <laughs>